What's up guys, The Lost One Gaming here, and welcome back to Government Simulator. So, in the last episode, we were able to win the re-election. Uh, we got up to like 60% in terms of our approval rating, which was really good, because at first, it kind of looked like we weren't going to win the election, but then we kind of uh, stemmed the tide of crime, and so then we kind of we're able to sneak our way back in there, so we're doing pretty good. Also, I've been meaning to withdraw from freaking Syria for the longest, and I still haven't done it. Uh, so, our military strength is 1839 right now. I don't know if it's getting better. If it's, I think it's getting better. Um, so, let's just withdraw from Syria. That took up 20 points of my time, which is unfortunate, but hey, it is what it is. Now... I want to try and stimulate a little bit more economic growth. Now, I did have the small business uh, thing in there, but I don't know where it is anymore. Oh, there it is. Small business subsidy. So we're going to increase this to 9%. Usually when I do some form of, like, economic thing, I try and make it, like, small so that it's, it's reasonable. And I, if I'm not mistaken, this... Uh, I don't really know what these lines are. I wish I knew what they stood for. I think like these are what the acceptable rates would be. I think that's kind of what this is. Like, hey, the tax rate is this and it should be this or it would be nice if it was this. So I'm gonna increase the corporate tax rate once again, slightly to 46%. I don't know how from 45 to 46 is 2.2, .2, but apparently it is. So. I'm going to increase the corporate tax rate again, and we're going to do a, I think I'm going to do a, another slight increase in the minimum wage again. So right now it's at 8.6, we're going to increase it to 8.7, so every couple of quarters we're going to probably try and increase it like 10 cents. Uh, so yeah, four years and the minimum wage has already jumped up a dollar. <laughs> I'd probably have to, in real life, if you're going to increase the minimum wage, you probably would do it a, like really slow. You probably do it like ten, like like how I was talking about doing ten cents or something like that. But hey, I mean, there's a point that I'm probably gonna get to. Like I said, I at least want to get it to ten, maybe get it to eleven. But right now, I think ten would be good. <coughs> that spurred a little bit more economic growth, so we're back up to two point zero percent. It's not getting better by doing anything, by doing nothing. Stated infrastructure, so. Our proof rating is up 3% to 66%. Economic growth has increased to 2.09%. The crime rate has fallen 13% to 2,000. So, crime. Not as much of an issue as it used to be, which is great. So, what I want to do now, the budget for pensions has fallen to insufficient. So, let's increase that to $250 billion. That's $20 billion there to keep it... Uh, to where it needs to be just enough uh, what was it it went to just enough right now we're kind of make sure that we can balance everything before we kind of focus too much on one thing I think that's what I want to do uh, I haven't touched gun control like I haven't really the reason why I haven't really touched this or any of these things though is because like if I was to move gun control right under circumstances like in terms of guns you know, in terms of the options here, I think the game is limited in the sense that there isn't like, okay, hey, let's do background checks or something like that. It's kind of like, let's just totally limit guns. And that's like, that's not really, I think, what the approach would be in real life. You wouldn't just say, yeah, guns, everybody can have guns too. Okay, all of a sudden just, okay, yeah, no one can have guns. <laughs> it would be, hey, let's just make it slightly harder for people to do it not just we're gonna take away people's guns like randomly but what else could we do we're doing the nuclear phase out uh i'm keeping the pollution right now where it is uh but i do want to increase the nuclear phase out a little bit or we'll probably increase that to maybe seven percent uh so let's see i also have to keep up with our government spending to make sure we're still spending enough to cover everything Let's see, where do we stand with education? Education is sitting... That's not where I needed to look at that. I need to look at it in statistics and data. So, life expectancy is 80.2. Environmental destruction is down to 14%. Tax burden is 36.3%. I want to see... Unemployment rate is getting worse? Why? 
education is improving. The freaking education when we took off is like 84%. Everybody just got dumber. <laughs> Everybody just got freaking dumb. Alright. Let's increase our budget again for education. We'll increase our budget for education to $100 billion. $10 billion in increased education spending. Don't say I didn't do anything for education, alright? Well, it won't exactly be $100 billion, but there you go. Nine point, well, eight point something billion. There you go. Have fun with that. Yeah. What new laws can we do, by the way? Retirement age is 66. I think we'll keep the retirement age where it is. Abortion, I'm not really too concerned about that. I know it's a big issue, but in this game, I kind of, it's fine with where it is. Under circumstances, I agree. Uh, maternity leave duration in months after birth, three months. Additional entitlement to exemption thereafter. Small business subsidies. Punishment policy, death penalty under control, sir. Yeah, the death penalty's still there, isn't it? I'm not really going to touch any of those, to be honest. Prostitu- God, prostitution. Oh, boy. I thought I had my quantitative easing thing in there. Or was I not able to do it? I I was going to do quantitative easing. Maybe I didn't have enough points at the time, I guess. Oh, yeah, I think it took like 30 points, didn't it? Yeah, that was it. Uh, compulsory, compuls yeah, compulsory military service. This obliges the population to serve in the armed forces for a certain period of time. This measure can strengthen the military force of a country and reduce necessary military budget, but also have a negative impact on the morale of the population as well as the number of available workers. Compulsor compulsory vaccination. When anchored in law, what is it? Uh, mm. I'm still going to give people the option to do what they want. Gender equality. <laughs> Whoa, boy. Public transport. Do we not have public transport? Determines whether use of public transport port is reduced or even free the most the more development the cost effect of the public transportation the less need for individual traffic which reduces personal spending for transported population as well as ecological damage so a 50 percent reduction we could do a 50 percent reduction in terms of public transportation costs i'm not going to do that right now we're just going to keep it where it is let's check the debt again the debt is kind of falling kind of falling it's kind of been up and down a little bit i've been meaning to get my quantitative easing in there for a while and i haven't gotten enough points to do it so i'm probably going to save up until we get that would you re-elect the government 72 percent say yes 20 percent say no eight percent say i don't know the crime rate has fallen again it's uh could be better from not good what is the government doing? Tax burden not improving at all. Listen. Listen. I'm doing what I can. Alright? I'm doing what I can. And obviously people agree with me because my approval rating is increasing. So, therefore, everyone else, the newspaper, the media, you can suck it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Public health of at least 80. Public health, 72.1. It hasn't really increased much since we've been in office. Where are we standing in terms of, we have an $85 billion surplus right now. Debt just increased to 14.47. I still don't have enough points to do what I wanted to do. I think we can cut back a little bit on security. It's good right now, so. Actually, we'll wait till we completely solve the situation. <laughs> which you never really do completely solve crime unless you just scare everybody enough. Which I don't even think that's even possible. Um. I was meaning to put more money into this, wasn't I? Let's put this up to 4.2 billion. That'll work. It increased it by 55%. I still freaking haven't saved up enough points for the freaking quantitative easing, which is what I've been meaning to do, and I still haven't done it. <laughs> debt, to GDP, yeah, debt to GDP ratio is now rated good. It was at 70%, so since we took office, it's dropped 20%. Tax burden is not looking good. My approval rating just increased 9%. Mortality rate just dropped 4%. Crime rate just dropped 26%. Crime is not going to be an issue in a while. And then we can cut back there. So, let's look at military conflicts again. My military strength is 1874. Let's check on Russia and China again, just to see where they're at. Uh, Russia is now at 1730. Russia's trying to catch up. Uh, China is now at 1683 hmm 
Well, 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 well. I'm going to let's let's check my statistics again. I want to see what we can do here. Very good values, improving values. Public health is improving. Corruption rate is improving. Education is improving. Worsening values. The tax burden. They say it's it's increasing, but to be honest, it's not that big of an increase. So I'm not too worried about it. Like. I don't feel like it's that like crazy it it seems like it's it works for what it is now how much was that thing again was it 25 the quantitative easing I'm gonna freaking tell the banks you gotta buy this you, you gotta buy this all right you don't have a choice we're gonna make it 20% oh it's 35 okay well we'll wait another quarter <laughs> I have to wait another quarter to get this done get policy out of the way but right now I'm a city duck the opposition trustworthy no i remember when we first took office and everybody was like <laughs> i trust the opposition way more than i trust the president trust him way more so crime is getting better corruption is getting better notable headlines it's getting worse economic growth development is not looking good oh boy where is it standing my approval rating just jumped 11 percent to 93 percent so economic growth is at 0.88 i was saying that i was going to do it an increase every quarter of the minimum wage I don't think we've done one in a while what was the last time we did one frick when was it actually let me check last time we did a minimum wage increase that would be laws right I don't know when the last time we did one was we can afford to do like plus actually that would take mm, I don't have enough okay we'll just leave it we'll leave it and I'll get my finally I'll get my policy through that I want to do the only thing that I don't like about this though far though far I don't know what though far is thus far is there really isn't any form of like legislative battle you know and the same with military conflicts there's, there's like no real consequences to anything at this point <laughs> but we'll do we'll start off with a 15% buyback of bonds all right that's 35 points that's all I can do this quarter I think next quarter we might try and work on the public transport thing and we'll go from there or I might do agricultural subsidies to try and do a little bit of increase our economic growth a little bit I think that's what I'm gonna do all right let's see what we got running simulations let's do this I believe crime rate less than 800 I've completed the goal yes good job all right uplifting debt to GDP ratio now improving for 45 months crime rate dropped 23% that means that we can kind of reduce our spending in terms of uh, security, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we're at more than needed. We'll cut it down to, that's uh, like 20, 20 billion dollars that we could get back now. We'll cut that down to 23 billion. I know I was talking about, where was our military spending when I first took office? 175. I had decreased it from 200 and something, I think. We haven't done I don't know. I think I want to. Where let's 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 keep our Russia look. <laughs> Current military military strength is 1897. Russia stands at. Uh, let's see. Russia stands at 1747. So we're still stronger than Russia, and that means that we're still stronger than China as well. Okay, so approval rating is 100%. <laughs> Everyone likes me. Don't think that would ever be possible in politics or in a country that. A, president or a leader would be like that well but hey that's what they have decided on unemployment rate has gone up to 4.36 I mean unemployment rate is not bad it's not bad really right now but let's uh I want to put I said I was gonna do the agriculture thing I don't think I have enough points to do it though I doubt it I doubt it agricultural subsidies uh, let's do 2% yeah, it'd be 10 points. I can't do it yet. Alright, we'll do it next quarter. We will do it next quarter. Let's see. Do you think another party could do a better job? 70% say no. 30% are just, they don't know because they don't want to try it. But no one says yes <laughs> for that matter. Economic growth is now increased back up to 1.01. .01. It's okay now. Crime is now very good. Uh, shadow economy development is not looking good. Crime rate fell by 21%. Alright, so... Hmm. Hmm. 
unemployment rate less than 4%, unemployment 4.34, it fell slightly. Uh, I think what I want to do is, I'm gonna, oh, hold on, I gotta implement that, that law in there. Uh, turret, I wanna do tourism subsidies too at some point, but for right now, we're, we'll just do the, let's see, agricultural subsidies. For the poor, low-income farmers, all right, we'll do a 4%, uh, I think that should work, 4%, 10 points for that, and we might be able to get public transport done in the same, uh, same time. I think we'll do a 30% public transport one, all right, all right, there we go, yeah, next quarter. That should help with the infrastructure a little bit and the environment because then people might take trains and buses more. Crime rate is now very good. Life expectancy is now 82.3 years old. State of the infrastructure is our biggest problem right now. Is it now? Is it now? Well, let's take a look at that, shall we? The, bi the, the budget, <laughs> budget for bikeways is completely insufficient. It's kind of been that way for the longest, actually. Um, let me see. We spend the majority of it on railways, which are at just enough. Streets are sufficient. Transport, adequate. Let's increase our bikeways spending. I hate this one though, because it just can't move it that much. And if you move it, like, it's it's so hard to move. Eh. <laughs> there. There. We'll increase that, and then we'll also increase streets to maybe 40 billion. I think that's good. 40 billion to work. We haven't done any social security changes in a while, have we? It's kind of just, does it go up on its own? I guess. I guess it does kind of go up on its own. Everything moves on its own. Let's check our taxes, actually, by the way. Income tax. Tax rate is a little bit higher than probably what it should be, but I'm keeping it there. Corporate tax rate. I guess it's, where the frick do we stand there? <laughs> where do we stand? Where do we stand? I said I wasn't, no, I'm still not going to mess with the corporate tax rate. Uh, I'm not, I'm sorry, property tax. We might do a sales tax increase. I don't know. Let's see. There are different possibilities on how to implement this current, uh, for example, as sales tax value added tax or turnover tax. Average for sales tax is currently 11%. What would a 12% increase look like? I don't know. It'll help some way. I could increase alcohol tax again because I definitely want to do that. So I'm going to increase the alcohol tax to 25%. Try and help out with the public health, you know, trying. There's also a, uh, let's increase our hospital budget, 60%, I mean 60 billion. There was a thing that I could do here, I, it's something that had to do, was it laws? Yeah, it was health insurance. Uh, we'll increase the health insurance, right now it's like 50% reduction. I think I'm going to increase it to 50, I can't do it that much changes are too big oh I don't have enough at all okay well we'll do that next quarter then right let's see what we got what can we get done now uh what you say the government has weakness 70% say no 30% say they don't know say the infrastructure has improved slightly not really necessarily from when we first took office but from its worst point Debt to GDP rate, yeah, debt to GDP ratio looks best since 45 months now. All right, economic growth grew a little bit. It's, I think it's time for another increase in the minimum wage. I, I wish I could see like when the last time I did it was, but I know it's been a couple quarters, so we're definitely gonna do that. Let's see, taxes. It's not in taxes. It's in uh, laws, right? Minimum wage, we're going to increase the minimum wage to $9. We finally got it to 9 My goal was 10 but it's at 9 So that used 6 points there. Uh, where are my agricultural subsidies? Let's increase this to 5%. And we'll increase the small business subsidies all the way up to 10%. Quantitative easing, we're going to we're gonna put this at 20%. Well, I can't do it to 20 can I? We'll just increase the 16 for now then. And where do we stand? Our debt is 14.028. So it's dropping. It's dropping a little bit. All right, let's do this. We should have increased economic growth because of the increase in the minimum wage and other things. Jesus. 
Jesus, economic growth grew to 3% that quarter, up to 4.87. Actually, that's more than 3%, isn't it? It's 3% in terms of total, but like, wouldn't that be like a 400% increase or something? What is the government doing? Shadow economy not improving at all. No, it is 3%. I'm lying. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. So the debt to GDP ratio fell to 45%. The debt fell to 13.955, so that's good. Say the infrastructure could be better. Environmental destruction is good. Shadow economy. Shadow economy rate shows the share of shadow economy. These are activities that generate income but avoid government regulation, usually in an illegal, usually in an illegal way. For example, in context of black market labor, Western country figure is about 12%. I mean, we're good. So, anti-corruption. Where do we stand in terms of security? More than needed? We'll cut back again. So, we'll cut back to... Mm, we'll cut it back to... 60 billion. We'll put that money... We'll put that money into the infrastructure again. Because I need to do that. Let's see. Railways. Bikeways. Every time with the freaking bikeways, man. Completely insufficient. Uh... Let's increase it to 57. That'll work. Uh, let's increase the... Uh, let's increase railway spending to... Uh, we'll put that up to... 60 billion. Alright, that'll work. Next quarter. Let's see what we got now. Righty, righty, right on. Alright, so... Would you relate the government 100% say yes? 0% say no? Good news, everybody. GDP per capita is getting better. Prime rate... Oh, the crime rate just increased now because of that. Ooh, I probably shouldn't do that. Hmm. I have to put some money back into, uh, into security. Because we just, just because we did that now, the crime rate is increasing. So I'm going to keep it probably at more than needed, a good $63 billion. That way we can at least keep crime under wraps. Uh, where do we stand in terms of our military again? Remote countries. I don't know why it says remote, as in like as if these countries are just out there by themselves. <laughs> the UK stands at 226. Russia still, Russia stands at 1791. So we're at 1956. So we're still freaking super crazy in terms of our military because we haven't gone to war. We don't have any conflicts that we're working on right now. So who the frick cares? <laughs> who the frick cares at this point? Let's increase the specific spending of the Navy. The Navy. The good old Navy. We'll increase this to $50 billion. 51 actually. It is what it is now. Uh, nuclear phase out. Quantitative easing. I was meaning to increase this. Uh, so. I'll increase it slightly once again to 17%. Uh, I think maybe let's see. How many quarters do we have until the next election? Okay. Uh, I need to spend money. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's work on our medical again, physicians, and good, good, good. Let's increase the overall budget to, I'd say, 85 might be good. That's a pretty good one for right now. And then, did I do this this quarter, or did I do this last quarter that I changed this? That was last quarter, wasn't it? Uh, buses and bikeways. Freaking bikes, man. Freaking bikes. 66, or... 75 million there we go that'll work that will do that will do now I, I there's probably some issues that I'm kind of ignoring good news education is getting better economic growth increased slightly interest rates are falling a little bit all right surplus still sits at 158 billion even with everything that's going on right now taxes where do we stand income tax okay corporate tax property tax I think I'm finally going to increase the property tax. I'm just going to see what happens. Let's see. Uh, next quarter. I'm just going to see what happens. I hope it's not like, like too crazy. Like all of a sudden everybody hates me. Property tax went up to 2%. Debt to GDP ratio improvement for 45 months. Income just increased a lot because of the fact that I just did that. Um, Economic growth increased by like half a percent. Not actually, not even half a percent. That's not half. Uh, that's like a quarter of a percent, isn't it? Not even a quarter. That's like a whatever. It's not a lot. Population growth just is for some reason 
decreasing again. I don't know why. Uh, Jesus, our surplus just went up to 357 billion. Freaking property tax, man. <laughs> Jesus, that was horrible. Okay, so that just went up. And we're going to keep it at 2%. I think, I mean, over the course of, what, that? <laughs> it's been, what, eight years since we, not eight years yet, but we increased property tax once, all right? We increased it once. So, yeah, we'll keep it where it is right now. We won't do another increase for a while, if ever, because I think that was enough to kind of cover everything that we needed to do. <laughs> but... I'm going to end it here, guys, and I will see you in the next one.